Hey, what is up guys? Freedom Bear here, and today I have a Rengar for Total Domination, and this fucking character is fucking... I love this guy, actually, more than anything. Um, <laughs> I mean, this dude is fucking amazing if you know how to, like, correctly play him. I'm gonna have to classify him as a straight-up, like, fucking assassin. I play him extremely defensively. Uh, just because I can't take a lot of hits, but I can do massive burst damage, and I can take you out from a bush. So anyways, I want to just jump straight into it and talk about all of my abilities, uh, what I usually use for my rune sets, uh, what I do with him. Jungle Rengar is probably my favorite thing to do, as you can see right here. I've got Smite and Flash. Uh, extremely... I, I mean, if you have someone to help you with the first blue and your first pack of wolves on Summoner's Rift, you can basically drop whoever, uh, you can, like, well, you will get extremely fed, honestly, because, uh, Rengar is just a fucking brutal character due to all of his empowerments and everything that he can do, like, you know, that he has his, um, his, uh, his Q does a shit ton of damage, increases your attack speed when empowered, his W gives you 15% health, uh, his E roots the target, and his R is just a, an invisibility uh, it takes you stealth, but it also enables you to uh, leap to your target, and it gives you five ferocity, so you can have one of your abilities powered up. So basically, I want to tell you how I actually play him. Uh, first of all, I will try if whenever I'm going into an encounter, I will try to get uh, five stacks, then have all of my cooldowns replenish. And whenever you get to five stacks, you get a you get a free ability. Well, all of your abilities will unlock from cooldown, and you can use one of them. And after you do that, uh, the cooldown the cooldowns will continue. I'm pretty sure whenever you already have that. So you see that I use that. You can double tap it. So if you get to five, um, you get to five ferocity, and you use your Q, you can go back and you can hit your Q again right after that. So it'll do a shit ton of damage, and you just popped a shit ton of damage on them. But the only thing that sucks about that is that if you, uh, you'll actually lose your major attack speed bonus because it actually doubles. So instead of having a major attack speed bonus, you'll uh, lose that, but you'll also you'll also get another hit out of your Q. So uh, with the R, I like to I like to uh, pop whenever I get to five ferocity. I like to hit Q, then I like to hit Q again, and then I like to hit R. And they usually start running because of the massive amount of damage that I pop on them, like right then and there. But if they don't start running, uh, you can just hit your Q again and again, and you'll drop them pretty decently quickly. Uh, as you may know, uh, his uh, probably one of the best things is whenever you're getting into a fight in the bush, because Rengar can just jump constantly. He doesn't have a cooldown on his leap for his passive, which makes him extremely overpowered right now, I feel. Because if anyone tries to escape you through the bush, you automatically have an advantage. Uh, Rengar isn't exactly the fastest character, but if you decide uh, maybe to get like one Phantom Dancer, it's a pretty decent investment. Uh, the attack speed and the critical strike are beautiful for fucking Rengar just shitting on everything. Um, so that's basically what uh, kind of like, I don't know, like Rengar is pretty good for taking people on the bushes. Uh, just because he can fucking leap out on all over people, and he has no, uh, there's no internal cooldown or anything on that. So, uh, so if I'm ever going into a fight and they're running, you know, I'll just do my Q, my Q. I really don't use my empowerment on my E a lot. I don't know why, but I feel as though whenever, if you're trying to take someone down, you need your Q because whenever it's empowered, like it does a shit ton of damage. It's fucking brutal. Uh, I mean, like I went 19 and won this game, just assassinating people, like. I wasn't fucking around. I would go for the weakest link. Uh, always go for the weakest link with Rengar, because you find someone with low armor, low health, you'll drop them in almost two shots. I almost, I mean, I after I got fed, uh, it, it really turned downhill real fast for them. Uh, Rengar isn't exactly a tank, but uh, he, yeah, he can take a few shots from the turrets, but not, not nearly as many as anything else. Like. Jace is kind of like tanky, like all these other new characters. Some of them are kind of tanky right off in the beginning. Uh, Rengar isn't exactly tanky. Uh, and he's a no-cost champion, so... Uh, that's like one of the good things about him. You can stay in your lane a lot longer if you uh, use your your W uh, correctly. And you just spam it, and you can just get all your health back. And it works out pretty well. So, uh, One of the other tr uh, tricks that I saw with Rengar is that... 
his Q does a lot of damage to like turrets and the Nexus and anything else. So if you want to like, as soon as you get to five ferocity, uh, just double tap that. Or actually, don't double tap that. Wait until you get your speed bonus. Uh, like watch your speed bonus, and then whenever it goes away, use it, use your Q again, so you can just get maximum potential out of it. Uh, so that works really, really well. Uh, one of the most important things that uh, Rengar really needs is his snowball item, which is his bone tooth necklace, which uh, I don't have all the stats that it does, but I'm pretty sure three uh, three trophies will give you uh, ten armor pen and five cooldown reduction. Six trophies gives you 25, um, 25 movement speed. Nine trophies gives you 150 leap range and uh, 14 trophies gives you What's it called? Like three seconds added to your uh, ultimate, and one extra ferocity that it gives you. I'm pretty sure I don't. I don't have the number. I'm not looking at them right now, but I'm pretty sure that's what it does. And basically, whenever you get an, a kill or an assist, it gives you one trophy. But if you die, you lose one of your trophies. So uh, even if you're in a lot of assists or you just attack them and you run away, you'll still get. Uh, you'll still get your. Uh, your your like your little trophy and it's very useful when uh, pretty much doing anything that 150 uh, leap bonus is fucking awesome for chasing people and Rengar like really needs that honestly so always 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 get the bone tooth necklace if you stack it up high enough and if you know how to correctly like farm your lane you will fucking just dominate anyone uh, except I've had a few problems with Olaf uh, Jax kind of sucks sometimes but there's only a few characters that really are a pain in the ass just because Olaf has a lot of true damage and Jax has his stun and his little fucking jump all over the place all over you. Everyone else is pretty easy, honestly. Um, uh, a lot of people, I don't know, a lot of people just don't know how to like defend against Rengar yet. And basically defending against Rengar is uh, thorn mail and a lot, <laughs> a lot of health, a lot of armor and a lot of thorn mail because this, this guy is fucking, he is brutal. Slows, very useful against Rengar, uh, all these other random things that can really, like, fuck you over. But, I mean, if you're, like, re it's recommended that you get uh, the Mercury Treads so you can have your Tenocity or whatever, and that will really help out whenever you're getting slowed or you're getting feared, kind of like this. Uh, I'll get that Ninja Tabby if I'm going up against, uh, like, a, like, a heavy melee character, just so I can lane easier early on what a lot of people usually do. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that uh, Rengar is pretty effective as uh, at, and what you basically need as Rengar is armor penetration and a lot of attack damage. Uh, I get, I mean, I basically almost follow almost exactly what the recommended build is because, I mean, it's fucking League of Legends. I mean, they're telling you what to get, so... Uh, I mean, you know, like other characters, it has like stupid things, like for, I don't know, like some of these characters, it just will give you like a fucking random mixture of attack damage slash attack power. Uh, it's kind of stupid like that. But uh, Rengar actually has a decent recommended set. Uh, so, like all uh, high attack damage characters, I'll always try and get a Guardian Angel for them. Uh, kind of like I said with my previous video with Yai or Yi, whatever the fuck you want to call him, Master Bitch. Um, Always get like always try to get a guardian angel. Uh, get that 40% armor penetration from Last Whisper, whatever the fuck it's called. Very important. Very very important. Kind of. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but this fucking gameplay right here is fucking amazing. This is how. I so I basically drop him, then I pop my alt, and I drop him in two shots. So <laughs> they can't even fucking kill me. And I basically just like tell them that I'm fucking super OP, and they don't get. They don't really like that too much. But anyways, Infinity's Edge, Bone Tooth, uh, Last Whisper, Guardian Angel, whatever I'm rolling with right now. There's a lot of different ways you can build them. I mean, you can uh, get Madreds. Uh, you can try and... I mean, I haven't really tried out these builds yet, but I've heard from people that they... Uh, Madreds and, uh, like, a Phantom Dancer or two will really help out. I know that a Phantom Dancer helps out, uh, but... <laughs> It's such like a risk reward factor because you can either just like you can do what I do and just stack massive attack damage and just drop kids, or you can try and do that phantom dancer shit and go Madrid's and like it's 
it really depends and varies, and I'm sure there's like a multitude of builds that you can attempt with uh, with Rengar right now, and just stacking attack damage seems to just do fucking wonders, honestly. Uh, the armor penetration, always get the last whisper, very important, because if someone stacks uh, like any sort of armor, you need you need your Q, you need your Q, and you need your... Uh, need your E and shit to like do some fucking damage to them because that is very important. Q is honestly fucking OP if you stack a lot of attack damage. Like I can drop turrets in like a few hits, like a few seconds just because uh, if you stack like your ferocity correctly you can just run up, hit it, wait a few seconds, hit it again, and then uh, pop your ult and then hit it again and you'll just have just so much damage on the turret and drop it. At the end I have like a little segment where I fucking drop the nexus and like five or six seconds just people trying to kill me and shit but it's just like impossible for them just Rengar is just fucking burst damage like he, out the asshole uh, uh, Q uh, always use my Q with ferocity at five uh, W if I'm laning like if I'm trying to stay in my lane or I'm getting like hit up mat like a lot of damage I don't really use my E whenever I'm empowered though I really I just I don't know, like, it's, I just don't feel as though th the damage from Q whenever it's in power is just so much, I mean, stopping them for a second or two really isn't going to make that big of a difference, but I mean, I guess it could, like, I guess if you're going to stack your ferocity up to five or whatever, then you're going to pop, uh, you're going to, you want to pop your E, then you want to pop your alt, and then you want to pop your WQ, I mean, that one, I mean, that would work out, because that'll do a lot of damage, stop them for a second, and you'll have chance, have a chance to, uh, just kill everyone, but yeah, as you see, I'm just destroying these kids, like, Lux just didn't even have a fucking chance, it just jumped on her and dropped her in like a fucking half of a second, uh, the rest of my team was pretty good, I mean, we had Mundo, we had Cat, we had fucking Graves, and it just, we had Kennen also, I mean, wasn't really a lot of CC, but, I mean, there was just a lot of burst damage to go around, and... Uh, we basically crushed the shit out of them, uh, so, I don't know, I mean, like, fucking, just Rengar with attack damage and spamming your Q is just brutal, I mean, like, I, I just don't see, like, there's not a lot that can stop it, unless you prep for it early game, and as soon as you get your, your little fucking bone tooth, you can just keep going, but that's the end of that game, and for this game, I wanted to show you guys a real quick segment of whenever, like, how to drop, like, someone's turret or nexus in, like, fucking only a few seconds. This is kind of fucking ridiculous. I feel as though, like, his Q is going to get nerfed or something is going to happen to it just because the massive amount of damage you can just pull out on anything. I mean, even with, it's a full, it's like a whole entire nexus and I'm going to take it down in a few seconds just because, just watch this, this is fucking brutal. I mean, it's just going down all the way. They can't even stop me. And then I just wait, and then I pop my cube and drop it. Like, that, they couldn't even stop me. They had no fucking chance. But, I mean, anyways, thank you guys for watching. And please comment, subscribe, and like the video if you can. Uh, thank you guys. Anyways, peace out.